Hello everyone welcome back to another video where today we are playing Jurassic World Facts app Okay so this series has been doing quite well so i had to continue it so happy new year everyone so next so with the new epic evolution series have released we have couple of epic evolution dancers but first we need to check out some of the older dancers like the bistra heva sir so one new feature that has been added to the game is that you can actually change day, day and night so this wasn't there before it has been added in the new epic evolution update i still have to capture these but we'll do that later we've got triceratops so this is the jurassic park one uh then we also have i mean there are lots of new things added but some of the most i am excited for is these things we got plesius sorus i mean elasmosaurus uh from the gigantic tracker series i have already captured it in my previous video i think where i showcased all the tyrannosaurus rex dilophosaurus and underwater creature i think i forgot about it uh we do have irritator over here Okay so for the aquatics i needed to show something uh, right in the night form instead of the flare you can use a torch kind of like uh, it's more like a light an underwater light it is exactly the exactly same as the earlier series which from 2018 to 2021 we use the same things to see the dancers in the dark flare for land and a light for underwater Okay so now if we see the previous collections you might be shocked uh, so previously apart from the dino escape dinosaurs i had nothing in my collection i might have uh, some of the primal attack dinosaurs but now it does not matter anyway So this is the legacy collection now Jurassic World legacy collection So I already had all these earlier as well but now it doesn't matter at all because all we have all the legacy collection dinosaurs all the dino rivals all the primal attack and all the jurassic world fallen kingdom as well now i did not scan these these were all added in the recent update so that is quite cool so i wanted to showcase some of these dinosaurs so i mainly wanted to showcase the, these these ones um right i wanted to showcase the this one right the suko mimas 2 now previously um 
there is no toy of this suko maimas if i am not wrong so it is basically just impossible to scan this one but now in this new update uh we got all these without scanning so that's a cool feature i spotted a couple of days ago maybe last month or something it's quite cool though how all these dancers which you have not scanned get added to your collection that might be one of my favorite features in this new update so now moving on to the main topic of this episode we are checking out all of the epic evolution dancers so let's begin with uh let's check out guaibasaurus i think this is guaibasaurus so this is a forest it kind of changes the angle uh you can see some angles spot light rays from the sun and this angle just shows of the dancer without any light rays uh it's got the some shadows of trees on it as well which i don't think was in the previous one so let's check forest forest is the bet- best place to look at these things no i don't think so yeah other than the shadow at the bottom of the dinosaur there isn't any other shadow so this is another interesting feature added in this update so quite cool how this is so it's a green dinosaur with uh, black and white striping patterns on it it's got black patterns on its leg it's got a white line coming down its half way through its body edge by a black outline so let's check out some of the facts so it is its diet is actually fish i didn't know that i thought it was a it eat it meat its weight of four cats it is located in south america so now let's check out it in the check it, it check it in the dark so as you can see there are some i yeah there uh, we have some fireflies i think it is or i think it is fireflies so in the dark it also shows a quite a cool way uh, you can't rotate it in the dark as earlier so whenever you try to rotate the flare pops up so for the land dancers use the flare so it has got the squills on its back which i forgot to talk about it's quite cool quills actually i think this is the strike attack guaibasaurus so in the dark you can see some fireflies as well as a cool type of lighting on top of the dancer which is of course the how the dancer looks in the dark i don't think this is there earlier uh, let's check some of these 
Yeah, it wasn't there before. Maybe we'll check some of the forest ones. So now all the dinosaurs I don't have will be showed at the bottom. So I basically have all of the Jurassic World Dominion dinosaurs. I'm lacking up couple of epic evolution dinosaurs. For example, the Herrerasaurus, the Pyroraptor, and the Baryonyx. Maybe I can scan this one, but I have not tried it yet. So next we have a f- Let's check this this one. Yeah, it doesn't show of that lighting, that cool lighting. It shows all of the body in the same color. So, they have done a quite well job with the lighting effects in the new new dinosaurs. So, this is another feature in the new update. So, it's a quite cool update so next we will check out the let's check out the caprasuchus so caprasuchus is sort of like an amphibian it's a prehistoric reptile actually it's got that scaly body just like a crocodile uh, it's got that outward pointing teeth which interlock each other it's got it's got some quite large teeth actually so if you tap it it can actually roar so it's quite cool it uh, has a base color of uh, light bluish gray it's got some light pinkish peachish color on the under jaw as well as going halfway through the body it has also got a dark brown color for the top on the upper side of the body so it's quite cool it's it could be actually some of the best reptiles we had had so far so previously we had we did have prestosuchus so this is the prestosuchus which was released last year in 2023 Actually, the previous dancers quite pop up in the dark, which is not the case with these new dancers. It looks much better than this Prestosuchus in the dark. A really light shave, light colored body in the dark looks quite weird. So, back to the Caprasuchus, let's check it out in the dark first we need to check the facts its diet is meat well i thought it was fish because it is a reptile it lives close to the water its weight is of a pig it is located in africa now let's check it out in the dark so you can use the flare to see it i don't think there are any fireflies in this environment it is only in the jungle environment i think this is basically the shore environment you don't have that um, release and rescue mission anymore you don't also have that tracking challenge 
i mean you do have it with the previous ones but there is one new game to check out as well so stay tuned till the end of the video they have done quite a good job with the lighting effects of this one as well i mean i i prefer the lighting effects of the guaibasaurus more but this is quite cool as well yeah when it turns it actually matches the it is up on level with the guaibasaurus lighting effects as well so they did add some lighting effects to the dinosaurs in the dark as you saw for the previous prestosaurus um it was quite weird to see such a light colored the model in the dark during the night time so next we will check out the tujiangosaurus so this is in a mountain environment so you can see some snow around you can even see snow falling from the sky you got some deep snow snowy fog actually it looks quite foggy and the dinosaur really matches the lighting effects of its environment yeah i think i might also it might also be the lighting effects that are my favorite in this new update i mean i also like the all the legacy collection dinosaurs being added to the collection but i think i might also like the lighting effects of these new dinosaurs they look quite good actually so it's got a white color with some brown and black patterns on it it's got that orange ish brown ish plates it's got the tagamiser at the end of the tail just like the stegosaurus it doesn't look painted i guess the the brownish color matches the tagamiser color yeah that is actually the tagamiser color for most stegosaurus it's just that the tagamiser color was used to used to used all the way up the tail it's it looks quite good i think i might prefer the tujiangosaurus more than the guaibasaurus i mean caprosaurus has got to be my favorite then to jangosaurus and then guaibasaurus the way when the fog comes in front of the dinosaur and the lighting of the dinosaur matches the color of the fog it looks quite good actually so next we'll see it in the dark Oh, I forgot to check the facts. Its diet is leaves. Its weight is of two cows, and it's located in uh, Asia, probably near China. So this is how it looks in the dark. not as good as the previous two but still in the daytime when 
as i told before when the fog covers it it looks quite good so another really cool dinosaur which has been added in this new epic evolution series so next last we are checking out i mean second last we are checking out the velociraptor i mean this is quite similar to the previous legacy collection velociraptor that we had in 2022 the color ac- actually matches it so, so it doesn't really add much it's basically mostly the same uh, so its a diet is meat its weight of four cats it's located in china mongolia china let's check it out in the dark actually it looks better than the previous velociraptors in the dark apart from the lighting effects and all that stuff it's basically the same so this is like a savanna it's all scorched up and it kind of looks like a deserty biome except for that it's not a desert it's a savanna so it looks quite good in the dark as well all these new epic evolution dinosaurs look quite good in the dark I mean better than the previous ones from jurassic world dominion and dino trackers next we will be checking out the ruthless rampage allosaurus another figure from the epic evolution series i mean the light rays blocking it is quite cool when this is actually like a river biome the caprosuchus was also a river biome so allosaurus is also a river biome so it's a quite cool dinosaur i think it's going to it is the one from jurassic world chaos theory which is a series that will be a sequel series to camp cretaceous that will be releasing in 2024 late this year actually probably during august or probably during july or august because analysis is confirmed to appear in Jurassic World Chaos Theory as well. Okay, so let's see. I mean, let's check out the facts. Its diet is meat. Its weight of two cows. So this is how it looks in the dark. Another ama- uh, more amazing lighting effects for these cows. new dinosaurs i think allosaurus could be my favorite actually i mean when it turns the other side looks quite good as well i think i might prefer the other side because it's got that lighting that cool lighting effects for all the scales it's got the that for the all the lower region it's got that lighting effect for the raised region for example the spikes it has got that dark effect it looks quite good actually 
the same goes with capra sucus okay so next last thing we need to check out is going to the new play section and i forgot to mention that the jurassic world facts has the name has been changed for jurassic world facts app instead it is now called jurassic world play that's because we have tons of games to play we have got the sound adventure from jurassic world dominion we've got the track and catch challenge from dino trackers we have release and rescue rescue and release mission from dino trackers as well and now we have the ride and rampage game from epic evolution so let's check out the ride, this ride and rampage game so i have currently five dinosaurs a hesperosaurus plesiosaurus triceratops neovenator and velociraptor delta i think it is so now let's go ride for the next one i'm going to need at least 1000 whatever this is keys i think it is so let's start okay Ah. Okay so I basically got failed in that one because I lost the hearts Okay we'll test it again So for the next run we are going to need at least it looks quite small i think it's a small one Let's just read one more time Okay so this time try not to fail Okay, one more time. You can actually unlock the Allosaurus in this game. So now you can move it anywhere you want because you have the allosaurus you can crash through things So you don't have to worry about losing hearts Okay so now I am getting quite good at this except for a few crashes here and there Yeah that was terrible Okay. Let's check this one out. I'm still trying to get more good at this. Okay, so there's the raptor. 
I got the Ava Ceratops too actually. Got another Ava Ceratops Pyroraptor. I don't know what the free dinosaurs are actually. Yeah, we got the Allosaurus now. I quite prefer this new model for the Allosaurus. It looks much better than the old ones. I mean, I still like the previous Jurassic World Dominion Allosaurus. But I more prefer this new Epic Evolution Allosaurus from Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Because when the toy was leaked, it was mentioned from the new animated series. And we only have new and the only new animated series is supposed to be Chaos Theory. Okay, so let's check this one out. So I don't think we have in any keys to free any dinosaurs so i think we should free one of the big ones because this seems to be like seems to me like a raptor or a, maybe a pyroraptor or something what i want to free is more like an allosaurus i wonder if there is an allosaurus in here this seems to be the savanna biome in which the Velociraptor was in. So I currently have 340 tokens. So one thing that has been removed from the game is the track and catch challenge from Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, so now the only thing in... Jurassic World Dominion that I have is this sound adventure. Let's see. Uh, let's check out. Yeah, we'll see Outpost Chaos. Okay, so now we have it. Okay, so now let's try something new. So this is quite fun. You can you could learn about the different kinds of sounds for example the sounds of wires cutting out uh, i don't know what that is the sound of the outpost breaking pyroraptor t-rex think that's a missile or something alarm a person screaming actually i kind of want to quit this one I mean, it's not my favorite one, probably one of my least favorite as well. Um, track and catch challenge, rescue and release mission, ride and rampage, all are quite fun about rescuing and releasing the dinosaurs. This one's about capturing the dinosaurs and different kinds of biomes. And then putting to putting them in the lab and releasing them in their natural biomes. This one's like try to cross obstacles. So let's check this one one more time. I quite like this new ride and rampage game. So there's the Guaibasaurus. Okay, there we go. Okay. Just managed. 
I might actually do this without any obstacles coming in my way. Oh, what's that? Okay, so now we have the Alasaur so we can crash through things. No more dinosaurs blocking our path. Allosaurus could be one of the antagonist dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World Chaos Theory series which is going to be coming later this year. What's this? Oh, we already have the Allosaurus. So that's what that is. If you collect one of those Jurassic Park tokens, you might actually get the Allosaurus immediately. So I think that might be what happened now. I barely had any tokens. Ah, okay. The first heart lost. After three hearts, we might be out. We got the Allosaurus again. So this time I am getting more hand of this game now. Actually this might be one of my favorite games in Jurassic World play. Okay so now we are quitting. So hope you enjoyed this video where I showcased some of the new dancers in this update as well as some interesting features update in this added in this new update as well as the new ride and rampage game so hope you enjoyed this video happy new year everyone like share and subscribe as we are see you in the next video bye